In this video, I'm going to be just trying to cover one of my favorite plays. This is Drive Post on the trip side in. I'm telling you right now, if you're a trip side in player and you're not using Drive Post, I think that you're literally putting yourself at a disadvantage, especially when it comes to man coverage, zone coverage. This this route is so good, and we're going to get into it here in just a second. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. We post videos every day trying to help people get better at Madden. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you get access to all my eBooks, all my updates, including my Trip Side In eBook, which we are going to be updating here in the next couple of days, and we're releasing a brand new eBook this week. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, make sure you're in there. It's only ten dollars ten dollars gets you access to everything i guarantee you'll become a better madden player by joining so if you want to sign up the link is in the description all right let's get into a drive post been i have been wanting to do this video all week long let's talk about a drive post my favorite play in the game um because this post route and the corner route they're so good together so um what we're going to do is very simple we are going to streak the middle trips receiver we are going to out route the running back that is completely optional you don't have to do that but i like to do that then what we're going to do is actually something really subtle um instead of motioning this guy to the right side of the screen we're actually going to motion him to the left if our trips is on the wide side. If our trips is on the short side, you can still run this concept. You just want your running. You just want to motion him all the way to the right. So uh, I'm actually going to be technically motioning him. I'm going to push my D pad to the left. You're going to see it's going to put him basically just outside the numbers, which is where I want him to be. Because what I want to have happen is I want that streak to kind of help pull any kind of inside quarters out of cover four and that's what you're going to get by putting him here um and then you can put the running back on outright you don't have to do that but you can do that okay um this is a simple play that is really good as a quick hitting dot it's a quick hitting dot play um and i absolutely love this concept so uh what we're going to do is we're just going to look quick to the right here we're looking at the running back if they're not playing hard flats we're going to throw that every single time we are going to throw that ball every single time that they are not playing hard flats okay we're going to force them to play hard flats with this with this concept then if they are going to play hard flats you're going to look to that running back he's going to be covered you're then you're going to look to that tight end this tight end route when they're playing hard flats is really 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 good and this tight end route is going to be a dual purpose route it's going to be really good against man it's going to be really good against zone and the other thing that i like about this is it's going to pull zones out to open up the middle of the field we're essentially wanting to try to run with this a levels concept that is the idea here we're trying to have a high low on the left side but we need this kind of curl flat concept that we have here uh, or sail concept to the left really important okay so um what we're going to do next is so let's say you know that they're guarding the tight end and they're guarding the running back that typically means that they're going to be requiring two players in coverage to do so so they might be in a cover two defense like this okay so now those three defenders are going to guard those three routes and now what you're going to see here is you're going to have this high ball right in behind the yellows to this drive post route now you can smart route this route or get to go a little bit deeper um against these yellow zones but honestly i don't feel like you really have to do that okay now you can motion this guy all the way out here the one reason um the one other additional reason that you might want to motion this guy all the way out is if they have like a curl flat here He'll just get out faster, and you can highball this over the curl flat, okay? Um, but very, very good play. And then really what we're looking to do here, like I said, is it's going to put them in a position where they're going to have to play some variation of what you're seeing here on the right side of the screen, where they're going to have to kind of play like a cover two style of defense. And even this is going to be hard for them to defend, um, and I'm going to show you why. So if their user has to guard the post, which he does, this cloud flat is going to have a hard time guarding break because of where this guy is at on the field and where this running back is going to get to. You could put him, if you have high ambassador, it is actually pretty good to put him on a table route as well. But what you'll see is these flats are going to go out, and I can throw that in that little seam right there. That right there is such an underrated read on this play. Um, the cloud flat trick is really, really, really helpful uh, for attacking these cloud flats, Okay. So uh, let me show you that with the short side motion real quick, and then we will get into the rest of the reads. So, you know, if I put him here, 
Again, that running back's route's got to get outside quick. That's why the out route gets up to the flat quick. And then I have that over the top of a cover two. So I'm able to attack cover two. It's actually really hard to stop this corner route uh, to the tight end. That's why I'm spending so much time on it. So they have to do a lot to stop that. Okay. Uh, at the most basic adjustment level, they have to do basically this. And then they're going to need to roll somebody over the middle. So, you know, maybe something like this or something. Okay. Now, on the left side, um, what's going to happen is they're going to be in a position where they're going to have to either, they're basically going to have to use the post route. If they don't use the post route, the post route's going to be open. So if you watch this play develop, um, you're going to notice that this corner route is going to kind of pull all the flat zones out with the out route, and it's going to kind of open up the middle of the field. And then you're going to have this high-low on this yellow defender where you can actually throw that you know, late in the play like so. That read right there is super effective. Now, again, if you want to, you can put him on an in route. Nobody's going to think twice about it. Um, you know, you can put this guy on a table, right? You can kind of like, you know, again, take this play and, and kind of make it your own a little bit here. But the beauty is you have that read right there laid in the play, and that is such a key read um, to this concept. Now, I didn't talk too much about man coverage. This play is actually really equipped to, to attack man to man. Um, and this is another reason for the short side motion against press man coverage. This guy's not going to get in the way because he's in the short side motion. So you'll see right, you saw right there the tight end. The tight end route, these rounded corner routes are really good against man to man. So this rounded post to Godwin, this rounded corner to the tight end, those routes are really good against man. This route to Evans, if you have like a good a player with good agility is actually really good against man as well so you see right here he's going to be able to get open against man to the corner and then you also have that post coming across as well so there's a lot that you have um there's a lot that you have in this play to attack man to man coverage as i said this route to godwin is really good um it's really good and they have to be respecting the fact that you could throw a C route on the left side because you left the solo receiver out there. There's a lot of things you could do, but this this right here is a... Pro, like I said, I think it's the most consistent man beater in the game. I think it's by far... Um, it is really, really consistent against man coverage. And then if you have a good receiver, this little in route right here, if you, if he's a big body receiver, I just find that the in route is going to work a little better. So I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put Mike Evans on an in route, trying to show you. So like... This would be an example of them trying to take away, you know, your your uh, post. So you're reading here. Nope, not there. And I can throw that right there over the middle. So this play is equipped. It's one of my favorite plays year in and year out. Um, this is basically a levels concept where we have the high, low read in the middle of the field. And then we're pairing that with this little sail concept on the right here uh, that can attack the defense in a variety of ways. Guys, this is this is probably one of my favorite plays. I love drive posts. If you guys haven't got our trips tight end ebook yet, I would really encourage you to consider joining our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that. It'll teach you everything that I know about trips tight end, and I've been studying trips tight end for a long time. I really love this offense. We've got a ton of other stuff too. We've got like eighteen different offensive and defensive ebooks, and we're dropping a brand new ebook this week. So if you're not in the Patreon, would really encourage you to consider joining that. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.